It is Monday, May 11th, 2020, and we're going to start off our pajama day with some student shout outs and recognition of students being respectful, responsible, and safe. Here they are. Miss Thomas had some shout outs that she wanted to share with her appreciation for some staff members. First is to Miss Guzman. She helped her locate some photos to make Breesis welcome packets for incoming kindergartners that are joining us next year. She also wanted to say thank you to Ms. Norris. She is an Apprende friend and she helped with our ABC mentor program this year. We greatly appreciate that help and they have certificates printed and ready for those ABC mentors when they pick up their belongings from Apprende next week. Also, thank you to Mr. Magnuson and Ms. Durig from Mrs. Thomas. She wanted to say thank you for helping her with a Zoom meeting. Sometimes we have technology problems and they stepped in and helped. So thank you so much for everybody from Mrs. Thomas. Thank you also to our very creative art masterpiece parent volunteer who helped with Miss Foster's class. She found a way to continue to do art masterpiece via Zoom. And some kids from Miss Foster's second grade class and also from Miss Olson's class joined for a lesson from Gustav Kempt and the Tree of Life. Beautiful artwork inspired by that artist. Thank you so much to our volunteers from Art Masterpiece and for students creatively working from home. I also have lots more appreciation to share. Just because Appreciation Week ended for us on Friday, we don't stop appreciating. So we have some students that wanted to recognize their teachers and some teachers that wanted to recognize their students for their appreciation. First grader Caleb wanted to say thank you so much to Miss Dobbins, his first grade teacher. He misses her very much. He also wanted to say thank you to Miss Sandy P. She helps in the lunchroom and he sees her in class as well. Thank you, Miss Sandy. Thank you also from Miss Klotz to Caleb for cookies. She got these cookies as a special surprise for Appreciation Week and it made her day. So nice to be appreciated. Well, we also wanted to give a huge thank you to our PTSO. They supplied our gift cards all week long last week for Appreciation Week when we did our wheel spins. They also surprised every single staff member at Breezes with a gift card of their own at the end of Appreciation Week. So thank you, PTSO. You made us feel so loved and so special. It is great to work with you. We greatly appreciate it. Families, we have a few announcements for you. We wanted to remind you, if for some reason you're not returning to Breesis, we'll be very sad and we will miss you, but we want to make sure that we do know to plan for that. So for any families that may not be returning to Breesis next year for any reason, we would like for you to please email our office. The email is brioffice at kyrene.org and just give them a heads up to know to plan as we work on student placement and teacher assignments for next year who's going where and what grade levels. So um, please let us know if your plans have changed and you're not returning with us. Also, we wanted to let you know that we have yearbooks available. If you would like to purchase a yearbook and you haven't already, please do so online. We're gonna post the link and you should have received an email with that link to purchase yearbooks if you're still interested in purchasing that. If so, it is gonna be delivered with your belongings when they're returned to you the following week. So we have all this week to purchase, and then if you have those ordered online, we're going to make sure that they're bundled with your students' belongings when you pick them up next week. Okay? We have a very special guest for you today. Hmm, who do you think this Lisa Gecko is? Here are the clues. I was born in the Midwest. I have one older sister. I grew up with three dogs and have three dogs now and I was in the chess club in elementary school. Who am I? Mm, who do you think that Brisa Skeppo grew up to be? Well, we love to see your guesses. Type in the comments and let us know who do you think that Brisa Skeppo is. 
All right, well, we have a very, very special read aloud today. It's not just one teacher, it's three of our teachers. We have Miss Jones, Mrs. Foster, and Mrs. Yoshioka that work together to do the special read aloud, not just as a read aloud, but also as a big thank you for everything PTSO that you did for us for Appreciation Week, and a thank you to all of our teachers and staff as we wrap up those appreciations. Here it is, enjoy. Hi, Reese's Geckos. It's that time of year when it's time to say thank you to all the families and friends in the community that have helped us be great learners this year. Help us remember to be thankful. Piggy and Elephant have a special book called the Thank You Book. Today we have some kindergarten teachers who are going to read the thank you book to help you remember to say thank you to everybody who needs a thank. Mo Williams is the author of this story and Hyperion Books are the publishers. The Thank You Book I'm Mo Williams. I am one lucky pig. I have a lot to be thankful for. I had better get thanking. I'm going to thank everyone who is important to me. Everyone? Everyone. No way. You will forget someone. I will thank everyone. You will forget someone important. It will be a thank o -rama. Wow. Off I go. Squirrels. Hickey. Thank you for your great ideas. Aw, shucks. Snake. Thank you for playing ball with me. The pigeon. Thank you for never giving up. And I'm sorry that you don't get to be in our books. That is what you think. Oh, thinking is nice, but you will forget someone. Da -da -da. I will not. Mouse, birdies, rhino, hippo's big sister, barky dog, pelican, bear, hippo's worms. Thank you all for being great friends. Aww. See that, Gerald? I am a thanking machine. Piggy, you have forgotten someone uh, important. Don't worry, Gerald. My next thanks will be a big one. Thank you, whale. You are nice. So are you. Ice cream penguin, thank you for your ice cream. It is what I do. Uh, piggy. Dr. Cat. Thank you for being a great doctor. You are welcome. Uh, piggy. Brian Bat, thank you for drawing with me. That was fun. Piggy. You are forgetting someone. Someone very important. Really? Oh, oh, now I know who you're talking about. The flies. Thank you for cooking with me. Anytime, dude. Not the flies, Piggy. I cannot think of anyone else I have forgotten to thank, Gerald. <gasps> Oops, I goofed. Hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Elephant Gerald. You are the best friend a pig could ever have. Oh, shucks. That means a lot to me, Piggy. But I did not think that you forgot to thank me. Who did I forget to thank? A reader. 
You forgot to thank our reader. You're right. Thank you for being our reader. Us without you. You are the best. Well, you did it, Piggy. Great thanking, Piggy. Thanks to you. Yep, I am one lucky pig. All right, Reese's Geckos, make sure that you remember to say thank you to someone who does so much for you at home, to someone who you're very thankful for. Thank you so much, kindergarten teachers. It was so great to see you, and what a great book with a great message, because we owe a big thank you to our PTSO for our Appreciation Week celebrations and to all of our Reese's staff. Thank you for everything you do. All right, my friend Gordon is here. Hello, Gordon, in your pajamas. I love your penguin pajamas, Gordon. Mrs. Almendares loves penguins, too. All right, well, we have some important events coming up. Gordon wants to make sure you are there, so please join us for these events. Hey, remember, we are still taking your pictures and videos for your expressions of peace. What does peace mean to you? That's what we want to see for our peace parade coming up. News at Kyrene.org, as always, is where you can send those. And this week, Thursday, we have our sing-along, Gordon. Gordon's in that sing-along. It's going to be super fun. So we want you to join us for that. So we hope to see you for those events. All right, it's time to talk about peace. We had our winter coal train on Friday. Coal train, make sure you let me know what song you would like played. We want to hear it and we want to play your song for you and we will look forward to our next winner coming up this Friday to pick their song. But at this time we're going to talk about peace. You've been clicking on our Instagram story and our Facebook story so we hope was it a peaceful day yesterday. What do you think Gordon? You voted. Gordon votes every day. It was a peaceful day. Yay! Great job, Reese's Geckos. We are proud of you. Keep being respectful, responsible, and safe, and we will keep counting those days. Right now, we are at 110 days of peace. That's amazing. Great job, Reese's Geckos. Okay, at this time, we're going to say stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, have a peaceful day, and enjoy your moment of inspiration.